At Forrester, Brooke observed Ridge working on a design with a model. When the model left, Brooke gave Ridge a bear hug and praised him for another amazing design. Ridge expressed his gratitude for her embrace. She questioned his gratitude for her lips. They should still be in beautiful Rome, she wished. There was romance there, as Brooke recalled, and Ridge stated he still needed to talk to his son about it. Ridge was questioned by Brooke about how delighted he was to have seen his future through the keyhole. Ridge grinned as he remembered meeting Brooke in Rome. He retorted that it had been pointless because his fate had been in plain sight. Sometimes, according to Brooke, he had to see it directly in front of him. Ridge yearned to see Sheila imprisoned. When Carter arrived, he let Brooke and Ridge know that Katie was in charge of addressing Sheila's press inquiries. Brooke found it hard to accept Bill's strategy had failed. Ridge warned that Sheila posed a threat to everyone, but particularly to Steffi's family. Ridge inquired as to whether Finn and Steffi could retract their claims. Carter clarified that Steffi and Finn had previously retracted their statements and declined to give a statement. They did that, according to Brooke, as a result of Bill's blackmail. Carter said that without fresh evidence, there was little that could be done other than rely on Finn and Steffi's assertions. Sheila is free to live her life as she pleases, according to Carter, and Ridge added Sheila is free to threaten Steffi and her children. The restraining orders were being processed, Carter later told Ridge. Ridge questioned whether they ought to do nothing during this period. Ridge was positive that Sheila would find a way into Finn's life, and Ridge wasn't going to stand idly by and allow it. Ridge was adamant about finding a solution to keep his daughter safe. They wouldn't let Sheila to touch them, according to Brooke. Later, Ridge and Brooke were together and holding hands. He declared that he had missed this so much. They should have never been apart, thought Brooke. Ridge was so furious with Sheila that his hands were shaking, but he was confident that with Brooke by his side, he could handle anything. Ridge declared that Brooke was the love of his life. If that seemed odd, he questioned. Brooke firmly disagreed. She claimed to adore Ridge as well. Ridge had an idea. Although they had already been through it, he remarked, let's get married again. When Brooke heard the proposal, she was taken aback but hushed her response. They would be the simplest vows he would have to utter, he retorted. Ridge was proven correct by Brooke. Together, they were more powerful than ever, and Finn would be there to protect the kids. Finn urged Kelly to respect the ocean as they constructed a moat along the shore. Due to poor reception, he missed the call from the hospital and instead turned his back to take it. Kelly ran off to play in the water. Sheila saw Kelly in trouble in the surf, while she was keeping an eye on things from a neighboring tent. Kelly was struggling against the waves when Sheila sprinted toward the ocean. Kelly yelled for assistance. Sheila took the child in her arms and headed towards land. Finn heard Kelly yell for assistance. He misplaced his phone and made it to the wet beach in time to meet Sheila and Kelly. Kelly coughed and coughed as Finn carried her to their blankets, and Sheila and Finn exchanged looks. Finn apologized to Kelly for not hearing her. And after asking how much water she had ingested, he promised to check her lungs when they returned to the house. As a result of she saving Kelly, Kelly retorted that everything was fine. Finn looked at Sheila and said, Kelly was right. Thank you, Sheila. He said, thank you, mom. Kelly inquired as to Sheila's paternity. Finn agreed and inquired as to Sheila's whereabouts. Sheila claimed that she hadn't anticipated any of what had transpired and had simply wanted to meet him. If not for you, you might have killed her. Kelly's life was saved because of you, Finn said. Steffi reassured Lamb at the cliff home that Kelly was safe at the beach with Finn. Before he saw Finn and Sheila at the courts, Lamb claimed he wouldn't have given it a second thought. Since then, Lamb had no idea if any of them were still secure under Finn's supervision. No one should hug their attempted killer, whether it be their birth mother or not, emphasized Liam. Liam clarified that he had no desire to end Steffi and Tom's union. Steffi acknowledged that, but believed there must be a justification. Liam promised to be extra watchful of her and Kelly until they discovered it. Liam pondered the expected duration of Finn and Kelly. 
Since Finn was aware that Kelly had an appointment with her father, Steffi assumed it wouldn't take long. Even though Liam saw Kelly frequently, Steffi claimed that when Liam wasn't around, Kelly missed him. They had knew it wouldn't be ideal, but since Liam had another daughter, they had to make accommodations, Steffi said. Liam acknowledged that being apart from either girl killed him. He discussed the instinctive need to defend daughters. He reflected about Kelly's birth date. Liam said that Kelly's striking resemblance to his mother was astounding. He claimed that being apart from Kelly pained him physically. He was a fantastic parent, Steffi told him, and Kelly knew it. That was the reason, according to Liam, he was worried about Finn and Sheila, who had a draw on her son. It, in Liam's opinion, made the entire circumstance unsafe. When Steffi called Finn, the call went directly to voicemail. Kelly and Finn appeared to be having fun, according to Liam. Liam wanted Steffi to know that if it weren't for the courthouse hug, he wouldn't have been concerned about Kelly and Finn. Steffi insisted that she should have believed Finn. When it came to Sheila, Liam disputed what she said. They couldn't wait till something bad occurred, according to Liam. We act now, he stated. When Steffi could no longer handle the thought of Finn hugging Sheila, she eventually admitted to Liam that she couldn't even think about it. If that was what Liam wanted to hear, Steffi questioned. Steffi argued that she had to have faith that her spouse wouldn't endanger her or her kids. Sheila couldn't persuade Finn to let her back into their lives since, according to Steffi, he knew exactly who she was. Bold and beautiful spoilers for the week of Monday, July 31, to Friday, August 4, are up at soaps.com. Sheila gives Deacon cause for concern after that fateful day at the beach turns into one that nobody will ever forget, even if they prefer to. Yes, there is another factor besides the absence of prison walls separating her from the outside world. Additionally, Steffi and Finn's relationship gets heated, and not in a good way. Wyatt starts to act confused, and a character whose loyalty we had previously assumed would stand the test of time begins to display some doubt. Discover more about these teasers and others below. A stunning confession is made by Finn, but only one. Since we would assume that I almost let your daughter drown and my psycho mother saved her would be two different confessions. Spoilers for the first day of August for Bold and Beautiful. Steffi warns Finn sternly, reserving the right to throw him in the doghouse, which, in him, he will undoubtedly consider. Wyatt ponders Steffi's response. And we wonder why her ex-husbands have such a big say in everything. Already make a friend. Spoilers for Wednesday, August 2 of Bold and Beautiful. Deacon worries about Sheila's idealized vision of the future because she is once again acting like a dog with a bone in regards to Finn and Hayes. Steffi's biggest nightmare comes true. Sadly, we anticipated this one. The bold and beautiful spoilers for August 3rd. Oh, sounds like the effects of the beach day from hell are still being felt because Finn's actions have a terrible outcome. Liam is adamant about winning the title of most insufferable character and won't give up. Spoilers for Friday, August 4 of Bold and Beautiful. Lie's steadfast commitment is in danger. Boy, does Finn's stock really drop when it declines.